Let's face it, the biggest doubt around Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 has been the throttling. So we decided to put all the 8 Gen 1 phones we have to an ultimate throttling test. And you know what? The results are really surprising, especially the winner. I also checked for any heating issues in these phones because I recently read about one of these phones hitting 75 degrees. Yeah, that's crazy. So we have six 8 Gen 1 phones, the Xiaomi 12 Pro, the Oppo Find X5 Pro, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, the Galaxy S22, the iQoo 9 Pro, and the Motorola Edge 30 Pro. All of these phones come with 8 Gen 1, LPDDR5 RAM, UFS 3.1 storage, so yeah, they're pretty matched in terms of specs. Now to make things fair, all of these phones are on the same standard. I have reset these phones, they are on the same Google account. And apart from the stock pre-installed apps, I've only installed CPU throttling test app, Antutu and 3 Mark. The phones are also on the same Wi-Fi network, the Bluetooth is turned off, the screens are set to max brightness with auto brightness turned off, resolution set to FHD+, and the refresh rate set to auto or 120Hz, the default in these phones. Also, there are no apps running in the background as you can see, and I checked and these phones are on the latest software update. Also, all of these phones are over 90% when it comes to battery, and I'm going to start with the CPU throttling test, and I'm going to do three tests a 20 threads 15 minutes test, a 50 threads 30 minutes test, and a super intensive 100 threads one hour test. Yeah, it's gonna be stressful. So here's the first test in action, and you will notice that the iQoo 9 Pro is the first one to taste blood, quite literally. The graph goes red orange pretty quickly, and this is just the first test. The Xiaomi 12 Pro is the second, and it directly goes to red. I mean, I was expecting this from the 12 Pro because I've seen how big the throttling is on this phone, and yeah, you can just see it going red, red, red. I also noticed that the S22 Ultra and S22 have lowered their brightness, maybe to cool things down. Anyway, after a while, the Moto H30 Pro also starts to throttle a bit, and so does the Galaxy S22. The Find X5 Pro and the S22 Ultra are just solid with no brightness lowering or throttling. Also, the iQoo 9 Pro lowers the brightness after a while too. Now here are the final scores of the first test. Xiaomi 12 Pro throttled to 57%. Yeah, that is bad. The Oppo flagship is good at 70% and the S22 Ultra was close to at 69%. Noise. It throttled a bit at the end, but it was good. The S22 throttled to 62%. The iQoo 9 Pro was the worst at 53% and the S30 Pro was pretty good at 70%. Plus the S30 Pro had the best max performance. Next up, we did the 50 threads 30 minutes test and this time the Xiaomi 12 Pro just goes red very quickly and you'll notice its graph remain red all the time. The iQoo 9 Pro starts to throttle too, so does the H30 Pro and also the Galaxy S22. But what's interesting is that the Xiaomi 12 Pro's graph is consistently red. And now even the iQoo 9 Pro, it's deep red. I mean, I remember people from a team going, Bhai, fatega to nahi. Now the S22 Ultra and the S20 also start to throttle a bit, but it's not as bad. The H30 Pro also goes red after a while and here are the end results of the test. The iQoo 9 Pro is the absolute worst throttling to 41%. Xiaomi 12 Pro is also bad, quite expectedly, at 53%, and the Edge 30 Pro also throttled quite a bit to 60%. The Oppo and Samsung flagships were pretty good, with all of them around 70%. Yeah, that is good. After this, we move to the ultimate 100 threads one hour test. Here we go. Now, once again, the Xiaomi 12 Pro goes red. Yeah, like always. The S22 also starts to throttle a lot, but it picks up later on, moving to yellow, which is good. And after a while, the iQoo 9 Pro joins the Xiaomi 12 Pro and goes red. Yeah, the throttling on these phones is pretty bad. The S22 Ultra and the Find X5 Pro also start to throttle, but the Moto H30 Pro is surprisingly impressive with the graph being green for a long time. Now, this was a long, intensive test, so it's not surprising that the S22 Ultra and even the Find X5 Pro also start going orange at around 28-29 minutes. The S22 and the H30 Pro, on the other hand, are very impressive. Anyway, after the full one hour, these are the scores. The S22 was the best. It only throttled to 83%, which is mighty impressive. The Moto H30 Pro is also good at 78%. Now, all the other phones did throttle, with the Find X5 Pro and S22 Ultra in the 60s. But like always, the Xiaomi 12 Pro and the iQoo 9 Pro are real bad. I mean, 49% and 42%. Also, I did check the temperatures after this test and the phones that throttled due to the heat were the lowest. The Xiaomi 12 Pro was at 41 degrees. The Find X5 Pro was hot at 47 degrees. The S22 Ultra was fine at 41, 42 degrees. Same with the S22. The iQoo 9 Pro was also the same. The Moto H30 Pro was higher at around 45 degrees. 
Now so far we've got an idea but I did a couple of more throttling tests. Now before we get to that, this video took a lot of time, these tests took a lot of time so it'll be real nice if you hit the like button. So the next test I did is the Antutu throttling test. I ran Antutu consecutively on these phones because Antutu is a test of CPU, GPU, RAM, storage, everything. Now I had planned to run Antutu 10 times but some phones just gave up. So here's Antutu version 9.3.3 on all the phones in the first test and these were the scores of the phone. The scores are good, especially of the iQ9 Pro hitting the million mark. The Find X5 Pro and the S22 have strangely scored in the 800k region. Now I was running these tests and I noticed that the screen brightness on a lot of phones had lowered probably to cut down on the heat. The Xiaomi 12 Pro and the iQ9 Pro are the dimmest, followed by S22 Ultra and the S22. One interesting thing, I never saw the Find X5 Pro or the Motorola S30 Pro dial down the brightness or anything, in any test basically. Anyway, so in the third test, Antutu just crashed on the Xiaomi 12 Pro with multiple prompts of device overheating. It's basically become unusable, so I removed it after the third test. After the fourth test, these are the scores and you can see that almost every phone has throttled except for iQ9 Pro. Surprise, surprise. Maybe it's designed to not throttle in this benchmark because in the fifth and final test, the iQ9 Pro started overheating. It got this prompt and when we checked, the temperature on the screen was hitting 53 degrees. That is hot. Now here are the final scores of the 5th Antutu run and every phone has lowered the score but the best is the Motorola H30 Pro. Last but not the least, I did a 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme test to check for any GPU throttling and you know what, the results were actually quite the opposite from CPU throttling. So here are all the phones running 3D Mark and this is the first score from this benchmark. All these 8 Gen 1 phones are kind of in the same range in terms of the score and the FPS but here are the phones in their 10th consecutive Wildlife Extreme run test and you can see how some screens have kind of dimmed. I also checked the temperature mid test because I think that gives us a better idea. And the Xiaomi 12 Pro is at 45 degrees. Find X5 Pro is at 44-45. S22 Ultra is at 42 degrees. S22 is at 40. iQ9 Pro hitting 50 once again. And the Moto at 43 degrees. Now here are the final scores of the test and see how the Xiaomi 12 Pro and iQ9 Pro have actually done the best. It's super surprising. The Find X5 Pro is decent too, but the S22 Ultra and the S30 Pro have throttled and the S22 is pretty bad here. So those are all the throttling tests that we did and it's clear that all of these 8 Gen 1 phones throttle in some tests or the other. I know these throttling issues might not affect your day-to-day -day performance, but when you buy a flagship smartphone, you want flagship performance all the time. Anyway, overall, if you ask me, the Oppo Find X5 Pro was the best overall phone in this throttling test. It was fairly good balanced with the CPU throttling tests and it was good, decent with the GPU throttling tests. I think it got a little hot at times but the brightness never dipped and there were no crashes or anything. The second best in my opinion would be the Motorola H30 Pro. Yes, it did throttle pretty hard in the GPU test but it was a very good performer in the CPU throttling test. The S22 Ultra and the S22 also did decently in the CPU throttling test but they did throttle like the H30 Pro in the GPU test. Lastly, the Xiaomi 12 Pro and iQ9 Pro, the unlikely winners in the GPU throttling test. But the problem is their CPU throttles so much, they also get quite hot. So I can't really say they have been good. Anyway, this was interesting, right? Comment below if you want us to do more throttling tests on you know, mid-range phones, Snapdragon 870 phones, you get the idea. Also give the video a like because yeah, it was stressful and we need some likes. Also share this video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Google search has a hidden game. So here's how to play this game. In the Google app, tap on tap.